But right now, I'm telling you right now, things are more prevailing in a different way than you would ever expect. So you thought you were like stuck in a certain way. Guess what? New paths is now opening. Yeah. When I spoke about the algorithm, that black algorithm, and how it sends a message out into the matrix. And when a cop is running you, it's literally coming up in your name as dead. And then you're wondering why these police are not being held accountable. It's because you contracted to that construct. It's universal law. Your ignorance is what's killing you. You think outside somebody outside of you is killing you. You think that because that's your perception. Let's change your perspective for a minute. Because now I'm giving you another, another, um, I'm giving you another, another perspective to the game. That algorithm goes off and that system and you come up with a system as that and that matrix system, you're basically telling them you're dead. So now they get to treat you any way they want to because you're not considered to be a live human being. They do not recognize you or see you as such. But what if they ran you through the system and you came up with something different? Or what if they just couldn't find you in the system at all? Now you're a god. Parents, this is the reason why I tell you, don't make, make sure you don't get your kids birth certificates because you're classifying them. You are put, you're putting them into property, into a state of property. Don't get a social security number because you get power of attorney over to the state. You allow the state to get involved in your natural birthing process of raising children. You did that. You contracted. You voluntarily contracted. Just like you voluntarily contracted to file taxes when it clearly tells you in the IRS manual that paying taxes is voluntary. And there's a process that you got to go through to get out of paying it. But there's a process you got to go through first. Or you read the IRS manual and it, tell, it clearly tells you that the American Indian is not liable for paying taxes. The problem is you don't know who you are. Yo, this is some truth on license. You're identifying as like a dead person. And then you are also committing an illegal act because having a license is illegal. You get a license, it means that you are now committing fraud against the system. So I'm telling y'all, license is not good. I need a license for nothing. Listen, a license ain't nothing but permission to give you, they give you to do something illegally. Or I've been open to receiving the news and doing well, the, 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 the knowledge, not the news, receiving the knowledge and educate myself on this shit, y'all. I pull my kids out of school. This is what it's about. And that's all I'm going to say. I pull my kids out of school. Okay. And a lot of stuff that I used to do, I stopped doing. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, the car, like I put it, put it this way. I was trying to figure out how I can go get a quote unquote free car. Right. But see, you gotta, you gotta make them set up trust. Right. Correct. 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 You gotta, you gotta make them set that contract up. That's the first thing you do. You gotta get them to, to, to create that contract. And once you give them that money, y'all, that contract is. And then you, you don't, you don't, that's, this is how you hit them with these coupons. This is how you hit them. Car, you have to already identify yourself as no longer a corporation. So you already have to be using your SSN on the back of your card and using the trust that's set up when you were born because it's its own bank account. So that's what she's saying. That's why when she tried to get a free car, she had to go do all of this. This is the process. Just like when you go and buy a car off the lot, you have to go and get a license. You, I mean, you have to go get a permit. You have to go get a license. You have to do that shit pre before you go and buy a car most time because a dealership won't let you buy a car unless you have a license to, to show them i mean unless you know the plug but other than that you gotta have a legit license right the same thing like this this is how you know that a license is committing fraud against your own self when you study and you go into it it says in its own terms in its own code because they have to list their own ucc codes under their own quote well just to save themselves legally because then they can't go and say you can't go and complain and say oh man you never said nothing nah it states in their code of conduct it's all illegal you are literally you are giving them permission or you are agreeing to pay such and such they're not saying you have to they're saying you are agreeing to it and most of us do because we are unaware and we operate on well you know lower vibration so that's just proof and they know you don't need a license that's why some people when they pull over they are on the do not put, uh you uh actually and that is why some individuals when you pull them over they are on the do not detain list meaning they are not detainable you cannot detain those individuals because they are already identifying themselves as a sovereign so it's kidnapping 
because they already they went and did the terms and conditions where they identify as a traveler and not a driver because a driver's license you identify as a driver which means that you're identifying under the terms and conditions under this corporation that has set up driver license because now they basically their way to tax it is they called it something else instead of travel it's now driver and you go get a driver's license which means you're giving them authority to pull you over you get them tickets Damn, I want to talk to more, yo. I'm about to get up out of here, man. It's all good, yo. Stay tuned for more. I'm out.